close the launch advisors, initiate O2 flow. T-minus two minutes. TLS is there for ET, LH2, pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. <laughs> the astronauts are closing their helmet visors, allowing their suits to be fully pressurized. Minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressure. You will. <laughs> you will. T-minus one minute and counting. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T-minus 50 seconds. Transitioning to orbital internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T-minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T-minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. Whoa! Wow! We have a go for main engine start. One. Booster ignition. Oh! Space Station. Discovery rolling on with a proper alignment for eight and a half minute lines of orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hard work. Humans taking aim on the international outlook. into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude. Officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance wow. the onboard computers steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station. Can't even see. <laughs> 